What's up guys, it's Jay with JNW Cards. What to do, what to do, I'm here with my, I don't know what number video, so we're just gonna not say it so I don't have to edit it. My TTM Thursday video where I send cards through the mail, hoping whoever I send them to does sign them. And uh, you can do it too. If you want information on how to do it, just shoot me an email, I'll help you out. If you want addresses of any of the players I send to and get returns back from, can you mail me too? I'll send you a whole little thing on how to do it and where to send to. So, let's start here real quick. My first return is from Mr. Mickey Klutz. I sent him three cards and he signed all three. I got an 83 Tops traded Blue Jays card, a regular 83 Tops with the Oakland A's, and then a 1981. Yep, 81 Tops also with the Oakland A's. Three returns from. Mr. Mickey Klutz. He played from 76 to 83. He had a lifetime batting average of 241. Home runs, he had 14, and he only had 59 RBIs. Played for the Yankees from 76 to 78. The A's from 79 to 82. And the Toronto Blue Jays in 1983. He's currently 65 years old. And uh, Mickey Klutz was a favorite of manager Billy Martin, who he played for in New York and Oakland. I actually asked him a question about Billy Martin because I, I don't know if I would say I'm fascinated with Billy Martin, but I remember uh, when he died when I was growing up, it was all over the news in New York, where I grew up, New York, New Jersey. I remember being on the cover of the New York Post, which my dad used to bring home every day. And yeah, so I've always... I've always been very aware of Billy Martin my entire life. So yeah, so that's it all I got from him. He he didn't have, you know, a superstar career, so there's not much to say about him, at least as far as Wikipedia, because that's where I get all my information from. So yeah, thank you, Mickey Klutz. Pretty, pretty cool. This next return was a very cool return because I got a custom card sent back in this one. This was from Mr. Fred Valentine. He sent one postcard where he said to Jordan, that's my name. It's not really J, it's not a letter. My, my name actually has six letters in it. To Jordan, best wishes, Fred Valentine. I sent him two cards. I sent him this 67 tops. He also wrote to Jordan, best wishes, Fred Valentine. And 68 tops, to Jordan, best wishes, Fred Valentine. And then he sent me this custom that he made. It uh, actually has a back to it. A lot of them don't. It does have some residue on the side here, but I don't know if that's from him or from something. I, I don't know. Nope, I think that's from him. Can't believe he sent me a card with residue on it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, this is him with the Orioles, which I don't have a card from the Orioles, so that's pretty cool. And on the back, it had, let's see what it says here. Alpha Outfielder spent parts of three of his seven big league seasons with the Orioles, 59, 63, and 68. Appeared in 47 games with the Orioles in 68, hitting 187 with two home runs and five, RB, five RBIs. His best season came in 66 for the Washington Senators, hitting 276 with 16 home runs, 59 RBIs, and 22 stolen bases. He had 284 over 10 major league seasons, seven of them at the AAA level. Spent the 1970 season in Japan with the Hanshin Tigers, and he's a founding member of the Major League Baseball Players Alumni Association. That's really cool. This must have been uh, something that the Orioles put together, because it says visit orioles.com for more information on your favorite players. Here's his MLB totals. I won't go off of Wikipedia here. He played 533 games, had 1,458 at-bats, 360 hits, 36 home runs, 138 RBIs, and he batted 247. So that's really cool. I'm, I love when I get, it's not quite a custom, you know, from him directly, but it's something he sent that I didn't send him, so I think that's really cool. Can't, uh, can't hate on that. <clears throat> He's currently 84 years old, and... That's all I got. I'm Fred Valentine. He didn't answer any questions in my letter, which is fine, but he did send it back. He didn't want to keep it in frame like the other guys do. 
And my last return this week is Mr. Louisiana Lightning, Ron Guidry. He signed an invisible ink on this card and also on this card. So on the 78 tops, invisible ink. On the 83 Donruss, invisible ink. And on this one, he decided to use real Sharpie. It's ones that I can see on 85 tops. Sent him three cards. I, I heard that he only signs one. I didn't know he signed the other two in invisible ink, but that's what he does. Sometimes I've seen him sign two in real ink, but uh, I only got him to sign one in real ink, which is fine. Uh, he played from 75 to 88. He's currently 69 years old. He was a pitcher. His win-loss record is 170 wins and 91 losses. He had an ERA of 3.29. He had 1,778 strikeouts, and his entire career was with the Yankees from 75 to 88. He was a four-time All-Star, 78, 79, 82, and 83. He was a two-time World Series champion in 77 and 78. He won a gold glove five times, 1982 through 1986. He was the AL Cy Young Award winner in 1978. I actually asked him to put that on his 78 tops, but he might actually it might be on there. He might have did it in Invisible Ink. Uh, he won the Roberto Clemente Award in 1984. He was a two-time all uh, two-time AL wins leader in 78 and 85, two times AL ERA leader in 78 79. He was the Yankees captain from 86 to 88. His 40, number 49 is retired, and he is also um, honored in Monument Park in Yankee Stadium. Very happy that I got Ron Guidry. <clears throat> Very happy that I got Ron Guidry. I'm a huge Yankees fan, uh, which I don't really talk about too much on this channel, but when I get back to Yankee, I'm going to talk about it. Um, sucks that he signed those other cards in Invisible Ink, but what can you do? He was actually Joe Torre's pitching coach in 2006, replacing Mel Stottlemyre. Um, but he was criticized a lot when he was Yankees uh, pitching coach. And in 2008, I think he was replaced. Um, or he was, uh, I think that's when Joe Girardi came in. Yeah, because he, he won the World Series in the second season. So he just wasn't on Joe Girardi's staff. And uh, yeah. That's all I got this week. Ron Guidry, Fred Valentine, and Mickey Klutz. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the uh, bell for notifications for every time I post a new video. Don't forget to leave a comment. And I'll see you next week.